Europe to um, uh, Dr. Andrei Konechenko, who is the president of the um, Ukrainian Wind Energy Association, has been working for renewable energy in Ukraine uh, for more than 20 years. And um, actually before that, uh, dealing a lot with the situation post Chernobyl nuclear disaster, um, Andre is uh, also a board member of the WWA and uh, chairing as such the CIS committee. So he will not only speak about Ukraine, but about the uh, other, other CIS states. Andre, are you with us? Uh, hello. And I'll hello. hand over to you. Um, Welcome okay. to Kiev. I think if you go down. It's okay. Yeah. Good. Thank you. It's okay. Uh, you uh, you see my presentation? Yes, hello. it's very well visible. Okay. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, today I will talk about wind power development in Ukraine and CIS countries. Uh, countries uh, that have huge renewable energy potential. Uh, and face difficult in implementing renewable energy technologies due to uh, the outdated energy system based on fossil fuels. At the same time, uh, there have been a, a noticeable increase in the development of solar and wind technologies in the region over the past 10 years. So I will give a brief description of the wind power status in each of the, these uh, countries. Uh, I have uh, always said that the path to the world peace is uh, paved with renewable energy sources, local environmental sound energy resources uh, for which you do not, uh, not need to fight. Today, I'd like to add words by uh, Fatih Birol Exclusive, uh, uh, executive director of International Energy Agency. Put clean energy at the heart of stimulates plans to counter the coronavirus crisis. Uh, so, what the uh, uh, what are the success stories and challenges in renewable energy sectors in Ukraine and CIS countries? At the moment, the rating of countries by install capacity looks as follows. Ukrainian with 1.2 gigawatt continue to rank first followed uh, by Russia, Kazakhstan, Belarus, Azerbaijan, and Georgia. Uzbekistan demonstrated high uh, expectations for wind and solar development. Uh, the install wind capacity Per, uh, per country is uh, uh, summarized on uh, slide and now more in details. Ukraine. Uh, in general, the current legislative framework in Ukraine could be characterized as favorable for renewables. Energy strategy of Ukraine for the period until 2035, approved in 2017, sets out the strategic targets for reaching renewable energy share in national energy balance by 25% by 2035. Uh, as of the end uh, of 2019, the installed capacity of the wind power sector in Ukraine reached uh, 1,170 megawatt. 637 new wind capacity were ad added to the grid. Compared to 2018, in 2018 investment in the wind power sector increased almost uh, tenfold up to nearly 1 billion euro. Total of individuals involved directly and indirectly in wind power sector almost uh, amounts to around 1,300 uh, persons. Uh, in, 2019 renewable energy sector saw almost a six folder growth by a record 4,250 megawatt compared to the two, uh, 2018 level. The leader in the terms of new capacity addition in 2019 was solar sector. 
since two, uh, 2009, the main driver for investment uh, in renewable energy sector uh, uh, has been the feed-in tariff, which is valid till 2030. Ukrainian renewable energy market has attracted more than 9 million euro in investment since 2010. In uh, 2018, a law of renewable energy auctions was adopted in the country. Uh, the pilot auctions should have taken place still in 2018, but due to political and economical problems ex uh, exceeding in the country, the quota for renewable energy auctions has never been announced. In July 2018, Ukrainian uh, transition uh, to new uh, wholesale uh, electricity market model. State Enterprises Guarantee Buyer was set up as a single of taker, taker of renewable electricity. Uh, unfortunately, the rapid increase in renewable energy capacity in 2018 has relay, uh, revealed uh, certain flaws in the support system design and cost uh, and balancing uh, functioning of national electricity market. First, first of all, in financing renewable electricity of taker which, uh, which is now uh, facing budget deficit. In March in this year, Ukrainian parliament uh, dismissed uh, pr Prime Minister of Ukraine and uh, disbanded his government. A new prime minister and a uh, new government uh, were uh, allowed it uh, by the post of Minister of Energy and Parliament protection is still vacant. Due to increased budget deficit of the guarantee buyers, the government has recently proposed restructuring of the feed-in tariff for already operating wind and solar power plants to settle a finance problem of renewable electricity of taker. Another challenge is for sure implementation of wind energy project under uh, quarantine related restriction imposed in the country. The, uh, the developers uh, that have wind turbines already delivered to Ukraine are more optimistic and expect to have their wind plants construction uh, uh, still here. Uh, all, all this problem negatively affected to future wind growth rate. We expected to have 1,500 megawatt to be installed in Ukraine by the end 2020, and it's the optimistic scenario. Uh, according uh, uh, to our webinar agenda, Igor Brukzukunov, chairman of the Russian uh, Association of Wind Power Industry, is going to make this presentation on wind development in Russia. So I'll not focus on this market. Kazakhstan. At the time being, there are 90 renewable energy facilities in the country, including 19 wind farms. Over 2018, Kazakhstan installed renewable energy capacity doubled from 531 megawatt in 2018 to 1050 megawatt in 2019, of which 285 megawatt are wind power capacities. Green auction were introduced in Kazakhstan in late 2018. The average price of the wind awards was uh, 5.5 dollar uh, cent per kilowatt hour. Successful companies will sell electricity under 15 years contract. The country aims to source 50% of its power from renewable, renewables by 2015. Uh, Belarus. Uh, currently, 98% of electricity is generated at thermal power plants, primarily by using natural gas from Russia. Uh, the rest is generation in hydroelectric power plants. The installed capacity uh, of the Belarus, uh, Belarusian wind energy sector amounts to 107.6 megawatt, 
So far, 96 wind turbines, mainly second-hand, have been installed in the country. Uh, due to commission uh, of two nuclear power units, the government of Belarus has recently uh, prohibited any new renewable electricity installation to be grid connected. Uh, e exception is uh, installation constructed under special grid connection quotas. Therefore, we do not expect any significant increase in renewable energy installation in the country in the next uh, future. Azerbaijan. Uh, uh, the Azerbaijan energy system includes uh, 15 thermal and 14 hydropower plants. Share of fuel, fossil fuel, mainly natural gas, uh, counts for uh, almost 92% electricity in, in, in electricity generation. Current uh, cumulative installed renewable energy capacity comes to 1,274 megawatt, including 63 megawatt wind farms, of which 50 megawatt are installed at the one wind power uh, Yeni Yashma. At the uh, at time, being 350 megawatt wind energy projects are under construction in the country. Georgia. The main energy source uh, in Georgia is hydropower. Currently, 88 hydropower plants deliver 80% of electricity consumed in the country. It should be noted that uh, there have been a number of protests of the local communities against construction of new hydropower plants in recent months in the several regions of Georgia. In, uh, uh, 2016, the first uh, and so far the only uh, wind farm of 20 megawatt was commissioned in the eastern part of Georgia. According to the Georgia Ministry of Economy, it's plan, planned to commission five more wind farms totaling 270 megawatt in 2020. Another 460 megawatt of wind energy project are at the different phases of development. Uh, Uzbekistan. On May 22, 2019, the president of Uzbekistan signed a law according to which companies that use equipment for electricity generation from renewables will be uh, exempted from income tax and land tax for 10 years. Also, companies producing renewable energy equipment uh, are uh, exempted from all taxes for five years period from the date of their registration. The main barriers to the implementation of the project is quite low tariff for electricity sale. In early 2020, the Ministry of Energy of the Republic of Uzbekistan and ACWA Power Saudi Arabia signed a number of agreements for construction of wind power plants with capacity up to 1,000 megawatt. The investments are estimated at $1.1 billion. And uh, some uh, short information about another uh, former Soviet Republic, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Armenia, and Turkmenistan. This country do not have their own national strategies for the development of wind energy. At present, the energy sector of these countries are focusing uh, focused uh, of their own resources, primary fossil fuel, ex except or for Kyrgyzstan, which uh, relies mainly on hydropower. Uh, thank you very much for attention. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, um, Andre. That was a very good overview of many countries. Um, and let's just start right away because I see there is a question for you. Okay. Um, a question from Soheb. Uh, what that is related to Ukraine, what options are being discussed to cut the feed in tariff for wind power projects and what is your association's position on that? And uh, second part of the question, how the coronavirus situation impacting the construction activity in Ukraine and its potential impact for 2020-2021 installations? 
Uh, first of all, our association is a very activity uh, and involved uh, in all process. Uh, discuss about situation in the renewable energy market. It's uh, uh, now we discuss about change uh, law about feeding tariff because we have around uh, in 11 uh, gigawatt uh, pro uh, uh, proposed to the wind and solar. Uh, uh, um, um, uh, development via uh, signed pre-PPA. And now we discuss about 50% uh, uh, project uh, sent to auctions. Because uh, without auctions, we have a problem uh, to financing. Uh, it's the biggest uh, new project because we have problem in the uh, solar uh, project. Uh, first of all, it's a very high uh, feeding tariff. Now it's around uh, 12 uh, euro cent per kilowatt hour. You know, wind now it's a nine euro cent per kilowatt hour. And uh, second, about coronavirus. It's now we have its real stopped market uh, for construction and development. Uh, first of all, uh, delay for uh, 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 delivery equipment from Europe. And second, now it's a stop uh, all uh, uh, construction in the uh, um, lands because it's coronavirus uh, stop activity for all working people. And uh, next, uh, it's a big discuss about uh, what's about new law, because uh, uh, our association and European, um, Ukrainian European uh, uh, Energy Agency uh, start mediation process together with European, uh, European uh, community. Uh, and the uh, full market proposed to uh, our ministry uh, change law and uh, reduced feeding tariff. Only problem in our country is absent ministry on energy and environmental protection. And the uh, only ministry on environmental protection can uh, make a decision about uh, uh, new law and uh, 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 we wait maybe tomorrow, maybe after tomorrow, will uh, presentation new ministry in our country. Good, thank you, Andre. I think these were two questions.